There's bizarre, and then there's really bizarre, and the latest theories surrounding the birth of Meghan Markle's royal baby can only be described as the latter. As the world awaits the news that Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry have finally welcomed their first child, it seems the prolonged wait has sent fans a little, well gaga. Yep, wild theories are now being thrown around willy-nilly as the palace continues to keep mum on all things baby, and you'll want to strap yourself in for some of these. Let's start with the most recent claim, which came from a single tweet by an unknown user. Taking to the social media platform, they rather bravely wrote, Meghan Markle gave birth to a baby boy on May 1, 2019. Named James. While we applaud their confidence of course, we're going to safely say this isn't a particularly credible source. Unless they're Doria Ragland dressed under the guise of a millennial social media fiend. But interestingly, the aforementioned Twitter user isn't the only one who's taken to the platform to send fans into frenzy. Others have also speculated that the baby has indeed already been born. I think Meghan and Harry's baby has already been born, one user wrote, before explaining that Harry looked particularly relaxed when he was spotted attending an Anzac Day service at Westminster Abbey last week. He seems to wear his heart on his sleeve and can't mask either anxiety or joy. Another user also added, the more I think about it, the more convinced I become that the royal baby Sussex has already made his or her arrival. And while we're willing to bet our arm and leg that the claims have no merit, it is not unsurprising that fans might be starting to think this. For one, Meghan hasn't been seen in public for well over a month, which is far longer than Duchess Catherine went undercover for before giving birth to her three children. What's more, it's been confirmed by respected royal commentators that Meghan's due date has now been and gone, so the countdown really is on. And in late April, it was confirmed that Kate, Wills and even Queen Elizabeth herself had visited Meghan and Harry at their new home Frogmore Cottage. Of course, it would make sense that they'd want to visit the pair after having just welcomed their new baby, but it was also make just as much sense for them to visit Meghan before she gave birth to the baby, they are family after all. And then, there are the false alarms. Fans were sent into overdrive in late April after an ambulance was spotted driving through Windsor. Twitter was awash with frenzied users suspecting the vehicle was there to either help Meghan during a home birth, or to transport her to hospital. But it was later confirmed that the ambulance was there to do neither, it was a training vehicle. Talk about a buzzkill. A few days later, fans were again sent into overdrive when an escort of police cars were spotted traveling through Chiswick, which is situated between Windsor and London. The escort took a route understood to be the most suitable for Meghan to travel to a nearby hospital, with a source telling OK. Online, this morning we saw a load of cars being given a police escort through Chiswick. But alas, the mysterious convoy never eventuated in a thrilling announcement that the baby had arrived in the days following. Be still our royal obsessed hearts. And now, another ambulance spotting, which occurred on May 2nd, has again sent fans into overdrive. The private ambulance caught the attention of the BBC's Simon McCoy, who tweeted, Private ambulance with police escort seen driving through Windsor. Pound sign just saying. Of course, the new snippet of information did the rounds, with hundreds of users liking and sharing the news. But this time, it seems the palace has cleared things up themselves, telling Fabulous Digital that Meghan has categorically not given birth. The lesson to learn here is simple, nothing is confirmed until the palace announces anything, and trust us when we say they will. Indeed a palace source has told two respected royal reporters, Vanity Fair's Kate Nicholl and Harper's Bazaar's Omid Scobie, that there's no royal baby yet, with Scobie confirming that the press will receive a text message when Meghan is in labor and when the baby arrives. So before you get another heart attack after seeing a brave Twitter claim, a rogue ambulance or even a crying baby inside a local Windsor pub, don't panic, we'll let you know when it's actually happening. Until then, sit back and prepare the mushy peas and sausage rolls, we'll be celebrating the birth of this royal baby very soon.